Well, joining us now to discuss the latest on the war in Gaza is former Knesset member Dr. Daron Avital. Welcome, Dr. Avital. The IDF submitted a Rafa plan long ago. The war cabinet has given its approval. But before the civilian population needs to be moved, are there any signs that the population is moving? Uh, no, I mean, the decision, the plans were set. Uh, I should remind you also that I was a commander of our special forces here at Matkal, so the context of the military I'm very familiar with. So the, the point, like, the point right now is that uh, the plans were approved by uh, Netanyahu, the army made his plans. And I think there are two kinds of plans. There's one plan of this, uh, uh, an extended campaign the way we saw in Khanunas, but this would mean, of course, to shelter, remove, evacuate the citizen, the 1.3 citizen in Gaza, in Rafah, uh, so this will take some time, and I think this wouldn't, it depends also on the hostage deal, if there is a hostage deal, it wouldn't start, I think, before the end of Ramadan, so we have a few weeks ahead, that's my feeling. But if there would be a sort of a limited campaign, and it was discussed with the Americans, the Americans even gave some signal that this is something that they can consider the, to be in sync with the way they see the landscape. So this would be more like targeted killings of leadership of Hamas. And of course, also, if, if some Hamas leaders were succeeded, it seems, to uh, kill uh, number three of Hamas, deputy of the, of, the, of the military arm or the head of the military arm, it depends how you count the thing, then uh, the whole Rafah campaign can be can be considered along those lines. If you succeed, uh, I don't know, to target Sinwar, this will change the plans, of course, because this would mean whether we need to go to Rafah, what does it mean? What would mean, what, how would it look the end of the war? Because you don't win wars just by killing all your enemies. You win war by breaking your enemy. And the question when is the breaking point of the enemy is and when whether a fear campaign, a big fear campaign is essential, but the plans are, are there and the army is ready to implement them. Rafa is the only land border not controlled by Israel into Gaza. It was the main smuggling route of weapons to Hamas for many years. Why was that not a goal in the war on day one? Why did the IDF push civilians toward Rafa? No, first of all, we have to, I mean, the, the bastion or the strongholds were, of course, the northern Gaza and uh, Hanunes. And then, of course, what we didn't succeed to do is to block, to block the leadership of Hamas and many of their operatives going south for this infrastructure of tunnels. This, we should have maybe, in retrospect, maybe we could have planned it differently. But it's a very sensitive border, the, the border with Egypt. Nobody, and I say nobody, even this government wants to risk the relationship with Egypt, the peace treaty that is lasting for uh, uh, 40 years and more. Uh, so it has to be in you know, some sync and some cooperation with the Egyptian. In terms of the security agencies of Egypt and Israel, I think the cooperation is good in the level of the politics. It's sometimes the rhetoric is, uh, is different. Uh, we have to keep those relationships uh, intact, and then we have to see if we operate on the Philadelphia route where the smuggling took place. But it's, it's, it wasn't the only route of smuggling into Gaza, otherwise it wouldn't have this uh, major infrastructure built and this weaponry uh, uh, So, I mean, it has to be worked out, but it has to be worked out with cooperation with the Egyptian, and I think that's, that's the way the army thinks about it, and also the the World Cabinet. Well, Dr. Avital, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.